from our team inside the courtroom and in the overflow. Uh, the verdict is now being read. As you can see on the screen here, count one, guilty. Count two, the former president found guilty. Count three, guilty. We await count four here. As you can see, the first three counts, the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, found guilty of three felony counts so far. The four person in that courtroom. Count four, guilty. Count five, guilty. Count six, guilty. As we continue to enter in what we're learning from the courtroom, it's our belief that uh, first 19 counts, I'm being told, the former president has been found guilty of counts 20 through 23 found guilty as well. So correct me, control room, all the way through count 23, now found guilty. We are now up to count 26 and count 27 found guilty as well. So again, I'm gonna pause here. He's been found guilty, 31 counts now of guilty as we wait for the graphic to catch up to the reporting coming from the courthouse. Count 33 and counts 34 coming in right now. Guilty on all counts. This jury in New York City, a jury of his peers finding the former president guilty on every single felony count brought against him by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Aaron Katursky outside the courthouse. Let's go to you for first reaction. An incredible verdict on this a day in May, late May, the former president of the United States convicted as charged. 34 counts of falsifying business records. And David, as the crowd outside this courthouse found out, a big cheer went up from opponents of the former president uh, who had been massing in the park across the street from the courthouse. Just a, a whooping cheer, and they continue to make a lot of noise. There have been supporters of the former president here as well. It looks like many of them are hanging in there, but are remaining silent as the former president has been convicted on all 34 counts of falsifying business records, meaning, David, the jury believed the Manhattan District Attorney's theory of the case that the former president falsified these records to cover up a conspiracy to corrupt the 2016 election by hiding lewd stories from his past.